Hi, welcome to Gen X Glam here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, hello. Thank you for stopping in. It's very nice to meet you. If you're coming back, welcome back. So glad that you decided to tune into this video. And this video is going to be one that I often call a ride on the Gen X Glam crazy train. Going to be all over the place. There's a lot of stuff I want to cover. I want to I want to put on some makeup because I'm at my glam station and that's what I do when I'm at my glam station mostly. Sometimes I just sit here and hide from all of the um, activity that's literally going on above my head. I'm just her mom in, in her basement <laughs> playing with her makeup. Um, a growing collection, one that I have... Um, I have been making up for some lost time, didn't use a lot of makeup in most of my life, childhood, young ad adolescence, um, middle age. Actually, I technically am middle age. I just turned 50 this year, but it only has been the past couple of years that I've used makeup on a regular basis. And I'm having a great time building my collection and sharing that journey with you. So today we're going to use, I'm just going to get a little bit of color in my cheeks. I have my skincare down. Um, I'm going to go in, we're going to start with the primer, but I thought I would use while I chatted down here about, um, the latest beauty news and drops that are coming our way. I thought I would use some products and believe me, I have a mess in front of me that I haven't used, uh, that I haven't used so often. So we're going to start with this, um, ready, set, glow. I think it was a primer that I was influenced to buy <laughs> and I bought it on Amazon. It kind of comes off like this, kind of got like a rosy glow. And we're just gonna go in with it because I need to bring a little bit of some um, moisture back to my face before I go in and, and mess around with other stuff. So in the beauty news front, there's two main brands that I wanted to talk about today. The first one is e.l.f. I love talking about e.l.f. If you're new to the channel, I talk about e.l.f. a lot. And I'm talking about their new bronzing drops that are going to drop, no pun intended, very soon. And in fact, they're already available to purchase for e.l.f. Icon um, loyalty members. And I have purchase them. I'm expecting them in the mail, if not today, tomorrow. And I can't wait to demo them here at the Gen X Glam Station. I, you know me. If you know me, <laughs> you know that I bought an extra set of drops to build a Gen X Glam giveaway around. And I have to say, this isn't going to be like any other giveaway, only in the sense that it's going to have a different title. This title was inspired by my husband, who if I'm being honest with you, and I like to be honest with you, he's not the biggest fan of the Gen X Glam station or me hanging out down here. But as I've said in other videos, this is my break room. I've got a lot of competing priorities in my life, and I'm going to make space amongst all those competing priorities, family, school, work, the pet, she's down here somewhere and she's whining because she wants me to take her outside. So yeah, I'm going to make time when I can make time to hang out at my glam station. And the husband, for being someone that says, hey, you know, Gen X glam station, really, really, are you going to go hang out there again? <laughs> he came up with an idea for a giveaway. On our way back from Pickleball yesterday, he said, hey, what if you did a Gen X Glam Slam giveaway? And I was like, Slam giveaway? What What? what could that mean? What, what are you thinking? Where are you going with this? What's the concept? And he's like, you know, you know, like when, uh, you know, like one of those brands, they come out with a new product and you compare it to another brand and you could like slam a winner. And I was like, okay, all right. Yeah, we could do that. In fact, we could do that real soon. We could build a Gen X slam giveaway around the new elf bronzing drop so these things are coming out elf's not letting us down it's a crowded crowded space we know we have glow recipe there with their hue nice to the mind hue let's put some on because these were a miss for me i don't use this very often i just wasn't a fan of it uh, but we know there's these we know tart has a glow we know uh, Physicians Formula, they have they have new bronze and glow drops. We know Charlotte Tillsbury, she came out with sunless tanning drops recently. Now, granted, those are meant to have a sustained, you know, overtime release of a bronze over several days. We know that drunk elephants out there, 
iconic London, there are just, yes, and that brand you were just thinking of and waiting for me to say, whatever that brand is, they're out there too. But Elf has this in their corner. Elf always comes out at an affordable price point and in Elf we trust. They usually come out with a quality that we can trust. So it's going to be, Elf is either going to just come out and get a meh reaction in the market space or they're going to break the internet because for 12 bucks, don't you think people are going to try it, especially people who are on a string budget and they don't want to go spend 30 some bucks, you know, for a Sephora brand or Ulta or, or you know, high end drugstore brand of bronzing drops. Heck yeah, they are. So I can't wait for those to come out. We're going to demo them here. We're going to slam them against whatever else I got at my glam station. We can slam them against. We're probably going to call them the winner unless they turn my face like, I don't know, something crazy. Um, and then there's going to be a, a, a giveaway on the horizon. All right. The next thing I want to talk about is Charlotte Tilbury. And you know, I like to talk about Charlotte Tilbury as well. I talk about her often. I like her. I like her brand. I like the quality of her products. Not everything I have bought from Charlotte Tilbury has been a hit. And some of it has been an expensive miss. But overall, I really do support her brand. And she is coming out. She's coming out with the fragrance line. Talk about a crowded space. How is she going to fit in this space? She has a foothold in makeup and she has a foothold in skincare. Pretty solid, right? But the fragrance space, man, that is just so crowded. So how how is she going to find an edge? Well, I can tell you. And I don't know how this video is going to go over because when I did sort of a deep dive technical video um, chat with y'all on lip oil and my DIY lip oil and went pretty far into the weeds, literally on, on the seeds that make up these oils. Yeah, it didn't go over very well, but I still stand by that video because I like me some jojoba oil going on. Anyway, crazy train. We got off. We're getting back on the tracks. Charlotte Tilbury has partnered with the International Flavors and Fragrances Company. It's a it's a it's a U.S. owned company, but its history goes back. It has European roots. In 1889, a pair of brothers, a brother and his brother in law, Patrick and Schwartz. We're just going to use their last names, P and S, for future reference in this video. In 1889, these Dutch folks. They founded the. They founded a company they called IFF, International um, Fragrances and Flavors. Okay, and they brought on in 1917 a director to open up a U.S. branch of their company. This guy has a really long name, Arnold Louis Van Ameritigen Hibble something. <laughs> We're just gonna call him. Let's just call him Louis. Okay, and they had a partnership, whatnot. But something happened. They parted ways. Louis went on to develop his own co his own company that kind of focused on the fragrance, cosmetic side of things. And PNS they continued to expand their company globally, um, and they focused more on like the spice and the scents and the taste of things. Well, in 1958, they all came back together and they merged. And from that point. Through current day, they have just, IFF has just gobbled, gobbled, gobbled up all kinds of companies around the world that focus research and development and product production in the fragrance, scent, flavor space, okay? So this is interesting. Charlotte has hooked up with IFF and is able to access through that collaboration some pretty interesting internet, um, some pretty interesting proprietary um, IT. Specifically, this algorithm that IFF has that's based on just over a hundred years of you know surveys and polls, human data that's in this database that this algorithm can manipulate and spit out analysis on what it thinks. Now we're talking artificial intelligence. What it thinks, you know, certain fragrance, fragrances, scents, flavors um, evoke in, in humans, like feelings, emotions. And that's what 
this is one of the very last things that I've purchased from a Sephora sale, which is done, sir, done, 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 done. We won't see another one until the fall, but it's um, from Huda Beauty and it's from their glowish line. And um, it's in the scent. And probably if I ate it, the flavor of grape. Okay. I like the scent and I like the taste of products that are grape. And am I influenced sometimes in my, you know, my, my role as a consumer when I'm out there and things smell, um, smell like grape? Yeah, I am. Heck yeah, I am. Sometimes that is the reason why I buy something. And that is exactly what Charlotte Tilbury and IFF are trying to, I don't know, I don't want to say cash in on, but it's what they're trying to create together. Some, you know, a scent that evokes an emotion in the person that smells it and ultimately buys it. And Charlotte's kind of narrowed that field down to scents that she wanted created that evoked emotions of, of happiness, of serenity, of seduction, of cosmic energy. That That's where she's going. There are six different um, fragrances in the collection. Here's a picture. If you're new to Gen X Glam, we don't have 3D images flying at you through the screen. All right, every once in a while, I pick up a piece of paper for a visual aid, and this is one of those times. This is how the thing, the fragrance from Charlotte Tilbury is going to be packaged. It looks, I don't know if you can tell from my old school visual aid here, paper with colored photo on it, but these are, these are fashioned like old school alchemist packaging potion bottles. And if you know Charlotte Tilbury, you know she's all about the magic. A lot of the stuff in her line has the word magic right in it. So I don't hate this idea of, um, you know, potion-esque bottles, but I would say that there is no such thing as magic in a bottle, okay? There's science and there's technology going for this, this concept that Charlotte's come up with and she's partnered with the IFF for. But there are also some some inherent barriers in this whole thing. <laughs> and, and they cannot be ignored. Somewhere I read a quote where Charlotte said, oh, this is a fragrance for all. But it's not a fragrance for all if you if you take a deeper look into the science, which I which I did, and I'm not a scientist. I'm not a guru in science. I'm more of a social scientist. That's my background. But I can understand. I can understand. I can read. I can understand. I can process some stuff that's biological. And I did that in this case to share it with you. Inside of our nose, we have we have um, scent receptors, okay? They send messages to a part of our brain that's called the um, olfactory bulb. And that is the part of the brain that processes scents, um, emotions, learning, memory, this sort of thing. So this, so you could be a person that has some sort of blockage or, or they're, they're, they're all, you know, they're, they're, they, you can't smell anything. So if you can smell something to get that message to your brain, for your brain to tell you how you might feel about that smell, that's an inherent barrier. So this isn't for anyone. And as well, genetics can play a role in terms of being an inherent barrier. You know, some people are predisposed in their genetics to, to to smell things in a certain way, right? We all have our own, you know, DNA makeup. Let's go back to this, this lip balm I put on. It smells like grape. And I told you, I like things that smell like grape. So I'm inclined to buy it, put it on my lips, you know, some place that's so intimate on my body. It's like, I know it's there. If this thing smelled like, I don't know, let's get gross vomit, for example, a scent that repulses me, I'm not going to be putting it on my lips. So there is proof of concept. If all of your receptors work, right, and you buy into this theory that certain scents make you feel a certain way, and then you go that next step and believe that the technology exists for, you know, input from humanity to go inside of a database that informs the database about how they how they feel when they smell or taste a certain thing and then there's a you know you can come up with a majority sort of herd mentality result 
all things great make me feel great. You know, a thousand people say it. The algorithm says a thousand people say it. So let's sell grape stuff so we can make everybody feel great. Or, or, or this, or this example. You come home from work and somewhere your kid has dug up your great grandmother's chocolate chip cookie recipe. It's like family secret. It has its own unique taste, its own unique smell. And you come home and you're like, whoa, you know, I haven't smelled this for like however many years. Where? And you start going back like that scent. It takes you back to go into great grandma's house or grandma's house, you know, and what that made you feel when you were there, like love, peace, safety, happiness. So that scent, did it took you right back there. Again, there is proof of concept in this, but I don't believe, you know, fully believe in magic in a bottle. Now, when they launched this thing on April 30th, it's supposed to have the six fragrances. And from what I can tell, like the full size is going to go for something around 130, I think it's pounds. And so this isn't going to be a cheap full size bottle of perfume, right? But there's going to be, from what I also understand, something they're calling a discovery set that's going to be probably in the $50 range. I mean, I can't imagine there'll be more than like seven milliliters. We'd be lucky if they were seven to 10 milliliter, um, you know, a discovery set for each scent. And then the, I think that there's going to be a deluxe size, maybe a travel size type of um, price point. Because this, this product is something that's going to be and it has to be based on the way that they're they're selling it. You know, it's unique to the person that smells it. So it's not something that you that influencers are going to be able to say, "Oh, go buy the Aquatic Bliss." It's got ingredients in it that are going to make you feel like you're at the ocean or you're, you know, you're you're sitting on the bank of a a rolling creek and you're going to feel so serene and so calm. We <laughs> That's impossible for anyone to say except for you right? If you smell it and it does bring you back to, you know, some sort of sensory memory, you know, and it calms you down, then great. That's the sense for you, scent for you. Maybe you want to try it. Um, but yeah, I think it's one of those where we can't be easily influenced. We need to go out and smell these things for ourselves. I think I can at least get on board with a little bit of faith in the technology and the research that she's got behind her partnering up with the IFF who's speaking of proof of concept, this isn't the first like luxury brand IFF has partner partnered with. Before I go into that, let's, I want to show you, this was kind of a miss for me. This is a liquid blush. Doesn't have a scent that's going to bring us anywhere. Um, that comes later in a different blush. It's just a liquid blush. I think they got on the bandwagon when all the liquid blushes were coming out. To me, it's a little bit um, too pigmented to work with. Um, Something in the diamond lined. I can't, I can, I can link it if anybody's interested in it. Uh, it's okay, but I think I just got really into trying several of the liquid brushes that are out there on the market. And I do, I do like the brand Physicians Formula. So I gave it a try. Look at how much color that just like instantly gave me. How long would I have to sit here? and pinch my cheeks for before I could get that color on my own going on on my face. All right, let's go back to the IFF. In the late 90s, well, we have to say this. We have to, I have to remind you that the IFF, since its merger in the late 50s, has been buying up all these different laboratories and companies in the space. So their resources are just beyond anything any of us could imagine. They apparently have this amazing um, botanical lab with over a thousand sort of exotic plants and flowers going on. I think it's based in New Jersey and it's the home of something that they call the Space Rose because in the late 1990s, IFF, NASA and Shiseido, they all partnered up and they sent a rose up into space to find out what would happen to it, you know, when it was exposed to all of the elements that are up there, particularly, you know, a lack of gravity. And what they found when this rose came back was like, there was a significant, significant alteration in the scent of the rose. And they used that information, that research, that discovery 
Shiseido did anyway, to commercialize it. And they made a, a fragrance that I believe was called Zen. I have never tried it. I don't know much about it, but I did know they did that collaboration. Now they're collaborating with Charlotte Tilbury, this fascinating company. I can put some links, their Wikipedia link. <laughs> Wikipedia. No, but there it it is actually very good. It takes you back from the beginning when the brothers started this thing off in in Europe, you know, to their partnership with the American Arnold Louis Armitage Hubble, right? To the separation of that, you know, that partnership, to the coming back together of that, you know, after pretty much the Second World War, you know, where the companies were on their own, sort of doing their own thing, having their own struggles, still trying to survive that particular era, to when they come back together and they merge in, in the late 50s and then over, you know, the past, you know, 50 or five, 50 years, you know, they're just buying up all these other like companies building a database and are able to do this really, really cool stuff. So apparently this laboratory in um, New Jersey is the home of the Space Rose. I'd like to see that. I wonder if they do tours. All right, my last example from my personal life, and then I'm going to sign off because I've got a lot of stuff to do before pickleball, and I can't do, you know, too much with my face because I am going to have to wash it off. But I don't, I just wanted to show you, I don't think I've shown you that, um, I've shown you this Physicians Formula Liquid Blush. I know I haven't shown you the new um, Glowish Huda Beauty um, Balm. I'm not going to put this mascara on. Not today, but in another video, definitely. I got influenced into buying this because I saw it, and I just thought this applicator was so cool. It's like the comb, and it's and it's and it's like bent, I suppose. So it's supposed to be able to really just kind of get in there and go with the curvature of your lashes. And I'm sort of, and I've mentioned before, man, eyeliner, mascara, even a lot of stuff that has to go out on my lids to give me pops of color. Not my area of expertise. I'm much more of a fan of the creamy stuff that I can just build and blend and have fun. And, and when I get to like, you know, a a healthy coloring on my face like call it good but this um this Ruffy mascara also came in one of the last sephora hauls uh, we'll try that on another day but i want to i want to use my physician's formula blush it's strawberry jam and it has a scent it smells like strawberry but not just like it smells like a very specific strawberry to me it smells to me like my old strawberry shortcake doll and, and, you know, strawberry shortcake, she had other friends. Like if you're a kid of the eighties, like an OG kid of the eighties, you know what I'm talking about. Whether you're a boy or you're a girl, strawberry shortcake dolls, strawberry shortcake and her friends and her pets had the, the funnest sense to them. And when I, I was influenced to buy this because there was a tester out and I smelled it and I immediately, immediately transported back to my childhood bedroom, playing with my strawberry shortcake dolls, feeling so safe, so secure, not a care in the world, just a really happy kid. And that's what the smell of this took me to. I immediately had a smile on my face in the drugstore. And I was like, you know, I may not use this all the time. I have a lot of powdered blushes, but man, this reminds me of the good old days and I want it in my kit. And this very well, this, this feel, that feeling that I just described to you is what Charlotte's trying to put in a bottle and she's trying to, um, to give to us through the help of her partners at the IFF. So as they say, the proof is in the pudding, TBD to be determined. I don't know. I'm super curious if, um, if anybody else got the email from Charlotte Tilbury, <laughs> on just about every notification email list there is. I may not have a huge present on, on the gram and other social media platforms. We are on Discord though, and I always invite you to join the Discord server, the Gen X Glam Discord server. And I always encourage you to subscribe here to Gen X Glam on YouTube so you can, you know, you're notified when other videos come out and you just join the fam. Um, yeah, I may not be on all those other places. Although we do have, I do have a presence on the gram. I don't post, but I, I just love to look at, you know, I love to, I have certain brands. I don't follow all the brands. I'm selective, but, um, yeah, I, I follow a fair, a fair amount of them. And, um, and yeah, it's, uh, 
it's a crazy world out there. We're on the crazy train. I just lost my train of thought where I was going with all of that. But, um, oh, the mailing list. I'm on the mailing list. Guys, I'm on so many mailing lists. I get so much junk mail anyway. I'm pointing a return and it's so easy to cull through and vet out the, the stuff I don't want and hone in on all the beauty news. I got the email from Charlotte Tilbury saying, hey, you're invited to join a wait list to be one of the first per people to spend your money on my new fan dangled super, t super IT, um, fragrance line. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll join the wait list. If that gets me an opportunity to get on an early buy and specifically buy that discovery kit that, you know, according to the um, public information that's out there on this, that's what I want. I want to join. I want that. I want to put it on. I want to, I want to see do these different scents that all this time and effort um, <laughs> that's gone into development really do make me feel a certain way when I smell them. Heck yeah, I want to find that out and tell you all about it. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you are well. Um, I will see you in the next video. Take care.